Cynthia Brewington to join me. Come on. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you guys? Who's not excited about getting nails done, hair done, makeup done, beautiful outfit, guys' haircuts, tuxedos? You all aren't excited about that? Yeah. Oh, that sounds, thank you. That sounds so much better. So much better. You know why I rented this showroom? You know what that means? This is where I came from. I grew up very poor, very poor. My mother was killed and I didn't have nowhere to go. I work in this family house that they were nice family. I never had a birthday cake before in my life. She, not only my 15 years old, she gave me this birthday cake, but she made it this beautiful blue dress for me. This is why if you see that little blue skirt there, it's because that is why I put it. The red boots, my mother was a housekeeper. She get up every 4 a.m. in the morning and she bought me these cowboy boots. I love the cowboy boots. I wish I saved them. Then that's why if you see cowboy boots somewhere, that was the memory that I have get up 4 a.m. in the morning with my mom. Now, like, this is where I grew up, where it was gang, people got killed. It was every day you have to jump body. He had no idea. It was bad. But I knew that I didn't belong there because that was not what I wanted to be. By 17 years old, I had to make a decision that I have to leave Brazil. I had somebody came to me and say, you're not scared? I said, I don't have nothing to lose. If something goes wrong, I come back. But I promised myself that I never wanted to come back to Brazil, to leave there. Then sometimes when you grow up in such a rough place like that, that make who you are, that help you to treat others, to respect others, because you know how you were treated before. Don't blame nobody else because that was destiny. Do I gonna blame somebody else that had a better life than me? No, because it was not their fault. It was destiny, it was my job to get out of there. And I know when we live in such a rough time, and I know sometimes life throws so much a challenge on us that it's so easy to give up. It's just easy to say, what the hell, I don't wanna do this anymore. But you know what I love it? That you guys are more brave than I was, and I don't think some of you guys were leaving the stand that I leave it before, but you guys never give up on anything. I know that each of you here has a different life challenge, because it's not only the financial challenge, but there's all the challenges that life throws on you guys. I don't know who you are, but I know every year I have a story. And I'm proud of you guys, you know why? Because it's so easy to give up, and education is the only thing you guys have. Really, is, you know why? Because that will build your future. That's gonna be who you are. That you, when eventually in life, you're gonna make a difference. And you know, sometimes once someone came to me really quick and say, okay, why you have to give everything you? Why you don't take user dresses? I say, you know what? I didn't grow up with much. And I know the difference, what is new, what is old, right? When you have and you don't have. And I know the both experience. When I create this program, I want everything to be the first class because I work in the fashion industry before. I work at a famous designer called Giuseppe Zanotti. I had in, a store in Long Island, American and Mahas. I own a store in Copley that is still open. I sold back to the company. Then Giuseppe was the designer that I work He's a very famous guy. Then I work in the fashion in the past, and this is why I give the glam create. Well, you know why? Because I have the only daughter who is a tomboy, a soccer player. The only reason she, like she don't like dresses. If you guys see her with the makeup and hair straight, I, I threaten her. If you don't do it, you lose your phone for a week. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why, because she does, she, one thing she do like her hair straight, right, Alex? but she's a tomboy. Then she is the one who asked me to introduce myself to Miss Monique. 2014, she said, Ma, you work in the fashion industry. Could you please introduce yourself like with Miss Monique? And then I said, I don't know who Miss Monique is, but let me find who she is. Then I donated money for the library for my school. Then I said, I don't know how we met, but then I came to Miss Monique and said, No, Miss Monique, I work in the fashion industry. If you have any kids that need my help with a fashion skill, I'll be happy to take them out shopping and everything. Nine days later, she calls me and she said, Guess what? I have one girl who was raised by a single mother who her father passed away and she needed help with prom. But I say, prom? I work in the fashion industry, but I thought that all the promo dresses was ugly. 
And then I realized it was not. It was uh, ugly and beautiful. Then I went from 1, 20, 50, 80 something, 130, 157. This year I think I aim it from 150 to 180. Then that is how Given the Glam started. And I fell in love with it because I know how prom is so expensive, you know, and if you guys can save this money to go to college and, you know, if you can take some little burner out of your parents, why not? We provide everything that you guys, and trust me, my hairstylists know how to straight. Listen, we have everything in the website, everything in the website. If you don't trust us in this point, oh boy, it's nothing we can do anymore. Last year, we had a big help for Subaru New England that help us. And the only reason they really help us, one, they have a good heart, it's Ernie Bark, but was because this beautiful lady here, Peggy Rose, Peggy, <laughs> that learned about, about the program, and she was so excited about it, and she said, I can't believe your showroom is here, and then I said, no, Peggy, come in here the next day, she said, I'm coming to take you, come to take a look in your showroom. The next thing I saw, Ernie, Ernie Box showing up with this nice guy and come and he loves the showroom, he loves the program, he really believes in us. Then I really wanted you guys to know that thank you, Peggy. Any questions so far? I have one question. Yes. Yes. So, you know, when they said Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can come over here. Come over here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. So we're gonna come just on one day to come do everything, or we're gonna come like multiple times to come see everything. Okay, for the tuxedos, you get measured right there. This is a great question. For the tuxedo or the dress, the dress goes, you come in here just to pick the dress, okay? The gown. But then you have to come back for the fitting. It's Sundays. Sunday is actually here. Then you guys have to see me more time. The boys, you have the the, the VIP treatment right away because you pick your tuxedo, but then it get measured. Then you're gonna get measured right there. Then when the orders will be for the fit. And in case something happened, Sandra, put your hands up. Sandra. You know who she is? She's a semester. The lady who saw everything. If something happened, she can fix right away. I have her on call. Okay, because if something happened with the zipper, how the heck am I gonna fix the zipper? This is happening before, I almost have a heart attack. You make it? Yeah, yeah, of course. So I'm Alexis, uh, I'm gonna be a senior in high school, so I'm the same age as so most of you. Well, I am a senior in high school, so I'm the same age as most of you here. Um, basically, my purpose is, I honestly, I'll be honest, I hate fashion, like I really hate it. That's not what we actually But the reason why I love to come is to hang out with you guys, I'm here, usually every single day for the girls and most of the days for the boys I'm there. So I'll probably meet every single one of you. And I, so my purpose is, as you guys can tell, my mom loves talking. And I, I'm being honest. Go. And I know it can get overwhelming at times, so I'm, I'm usually there to you know break it up, make it a little more fun. We can make fun of some dresses together. I can ground both of you, her and you guys together. Because sometimes I'm telling her, I say, I like that dress. I say, no, it's okay. It's that, that is how. So basically, and, the, and even though it can be tedious and long, the process is actually really fun. We make a few jokes, usually get food. <laughs> yeah. So Alexis is here for fun and entertainment, and she's also very helpful. And she's the reason why giving the glam exists. Now, I wanted to introduce my, start from the longest one that I work with. Sue and Alex is our photographer. Where are they? Come over here. They've been walking with us for a long time. And your kids better smile the day of the prom. Because some of you go, she smile. Where's everybody? Christiana. Come in here, Christiana. She is very special young lady. Too bad I don't have a picture. Christiana is my former participant of 2018. She is now, she's been helping us and volunteer for us second year. <laughs> Hannah, if you guys like a simple makeup, 
henna is the goal. If you don't like makeup at all, like very light, henna is the goal. But I have a makeup artist that he can do everything as long as you guys look good. Because there was one girl that came and I said, okay, I take your advice. What do you want to do? I want to, how do you call the eyeliner here to connect with the eyebrow? I say, no. Because who had the eye like that? Who was the one, the person that she wanted? Amy Warehouse. I say, really? I say, no. Um, Josie, come over here. Josie is the manicure lady, people. She does your nails. We provide manicure too. Now the boys like manicure too. I don't get it. They want a manicure. It's fine. Uh, Josias, my hairstyle. Who can do any hair, any hair. It's no limitation for him. He can pull it. Pull it. If you have to pull it, your hair going to be straight. Trust me. There's going to be a lot of smoke going on. But it's going to be straight. We don't provide chemical stuff. When I straight, I send a, a bad message because the people thought that I wanted you guys to use a chemical to straight. They say, no, it's a blow dry, you know, and flat iron. That's it. Sandra, see Mr. Come in here, Sandra. <laughs> she is the one who fixes your dress after to fit perfect. I just have a bad news to tell you girls. I don't come after the fitting. Don't tell me, Mrs. Rapp, I want to lose weight, I want to gain weight. Uh-uh. No losing, no gain. Because after we cut the dress, what happens if you lose too much weight or you good? We're going to be in trouble. It's not my fault. Then after we do the feeding, she has a beauty spa that she always provides me. She provides me with the... She provides me with the every makeup artist and hairstyle that want to volunteer for the program. That, that is very well helpful. And she has a spa that could be a single stage for 45 years older like me. We need a lot of people. Now I have my fashion assistant, Juju. I am, I am, I am. Hold on. Then, just to let you know, the team can go double. Oh, 
three times bigger than that. It depends how many kids I have today. Then it just like a teamwork and everything. I would love Officer Cynthia. She is my girl. I love her. She's an officer. She really is. I do have to say that. You know, it's a lot of work, it's a team of work, and it's so cool to connect and for you guys you now to ask any questions and so many stories that we hear that you guys feel so comfortable to talk with her because it's a long ride sometimes, you know? Then we hear rain, snow, sun, whatever, we hear, and she always such a good person. We joking around because I say, you're the officer, you, you, you're supposed to be tougher, but I'm tougher than you, she's so soft. Sometimes you guys, you guys can be a, such a drama, but she's so good. Miss Monique is, she now, she, he doesn't like attention. He doesn't, then, but I always make sure I introduce her. And my friend Andy, I do have to say, come over here. Now, she's a good friend that I invite in the board. And one beautiful thing that I love about her, as a friend, like, is no competition. She always so proud every time I'm with her friends, you know, and she always talk about the program. She always tell us, you know, about what we do, how amazing the program is, and I'm so thankful to her because of her. She has a lot of people that were here that donate for the program. She herself donated, but she stayed on the board and she keep working, working, working. And I'm very thankful to have a friend like her, and I was very proud to invite her to stand on the board because to sit on board has to be very special to me. Then there's so many people that I like to invite. Then uh, Monique and Andy, they are very good. And we have a few board members that is missing, but they are here. And thank you to Marcy.